morning, everybody. We're going to be doing a pick a pile today. And what we're going to do a pick a pile on is what is blocking you in love? Now, if you're looking for your own personal reading to find this, you can reach out to me. Prices are up on the top uh, corner. So with that, I'm asking you to use your intuition. Generally, what you want to do is you want to pick the pile that pops into your mind the first time. Don't second guess yourself. So we have pile number one, which is the green pile. Pile number two, which is the red pile. And pile number three, which is the clear pile. And so if uh, you just tune into your intuition, uh, what you want to do is set the intention to ask yourself, what is it that is truly blocking me in love and relationships? And uh, figure out which pile is the one that is the answer to that. And again, it's the first one that pops in your head. So we're going to go over the piles one more time, give you time to kind of breathe a couple times, clear your mind, ask yourself, what is it that is blocking me in love? And we're going to look at pile number one, the green, pile number two, the red, and pile number three, the clear, right? And each one of those is the answer. Whichever one you choose is the answer for you. Uh, you're going to use your own intuition. You won't have to worry about the card reader doing it. Uh, you can just choose your own pile. And so with that, let's uh, get to our answers. If you've chosen uh, pile number one, which is the green, We'll get our first card. First card says comparison. Comparing is unfair. Leave the past behind and see your new love for who they are, right? You're doing too much comparing uh, from past people, and which case you're not actually seeing that person. You're seeing your comparison of that person. Stop judging. Too much work. You let yourself, uh, you, you tell yourself uh, too much work, but it's really an excuse not to get loved, right? And so for this one, you're also working too hard, right? You're you're trying everything you can to avoid uh, feeling that love uh, that you want so badly. And so here's some advice uh, from your future higher self, the higher self that has solved this problem. Continue to make the most of every open door, right? And so Spirit's saying your, your higher self is telling you you know, make sure that you make the most of every open door, recognize those open doors and take advantage of them rather than just slamming them shut because you are too busy or you're too busy judging. Be a little bit more open and that's your read for pile number one. So if you've chosen pile number two, the red, too attached, give your partner some breathing room, being too needy drives them away. And that happens to a lot of people because they want love so much that they're going to focus every bit of energy they have on that person. When they say jump, you'll jump. When they say how high, you know, you they say jump, you say how high and you'll jump and you'll react and you'll do everything and they won't care and they won't give you that same energy back. You have to remain attached, but not, un not attached, more neutral. Uh, be affectionate, be open, but don't make that person your life. And that's a big, big issue for people with codependency, which is abandonment uh, and rejection trauma, right? And that's where you need to start healing. Fixing them. You can't fix somebody. They have to want to change, accept them, or let them go, right? And this is another problem, right? You say, oh, but this person, you know, this toxic person if I could only get them to do this or that or change the way they look or change the way that they speak or change the way that they eat, then they'll be perfect. No, that's not the right person for you. What you're doing is you're projecting your needs onto that person and not allowing that person to be themselves. So you're not truly uh, looking uh, with anything other than uh, rose colored glasses and you need to stop trying to fix because you can't fix. Nobody can fix anybody but themselves. And your advice from your higher self is following your heart will lead you to the right things. And why is it following your heart? Because once you follow your heart, you know what you really want and what you're really looking for. You're not stuck in the illusion of what society is telling you you're looking for or what every other girl or boy out there is doing. So this way you don't get so attached and trying to fix them because you're trying to get them to an ideal that doesn't actually exist. 
So get into your heart space. And that's your read uh, for pile number two. And for pile number three, the clear, what's blocking you is pent up anger. You have unresolved feelings from your past that makes you resentful towards others, right? And you can't, you can't go into a space of love when you're angry. You need to release that anger, that fear, whatever it is that you're holding inside yourself. You need to go inside, find that trigger, find that trauma, and heal it before you are going to get into a place where you're going to find that true love. Hard to get. You're missing opportunities by playing too hard to get. Give somebody a chance, right? And the reason you don't give people a chance is because you are so filled with anger, so filled with uh, regret, so filled with so many emotions around what happened to you in the past that you are not, your door's closed. You're not allowing anybody to get through. And advice from your higher self is the sacrifice you make today will be worth it, right? And that sacrifice is healing, right? It's going within, facing your trauma, and it's not easy. But if you do, your reward will be uh, quite, quite, quite abundant. Uh, so those are the reads. So let me know if the pile that you picked was actually uh, resonating with you. If it was, uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe, and reach out if you're looking for your own personal reading. Have a great day.